people hope all is well i would like for you to just listen to not the whole video but just a, a certain section and i'd like to go ahead and give you show you rather an example okay this um it's sad but it, it's reality it's time to wake up What's up, TikTok? This is your brother, King Jabez, back today with another very important message. I want to talk about in today's message the dark side of being attractive, but a little deeper. Um, being attractive can be deadly, and I want to really give you a fair warning. There are people out here who have a murderous jealousy towards you. I've been following the story, as you have, I'm sure, some of you as well, with Sincrella Washington, uh, who lost her life in Mexico on a trip with so-called friends, mm. and these were not friends. And I want to give you a fair warning. I want you to listen to me. Everyone who's around you is not with you. I want to give you a firm warning. This new age of social media, TikTok, Twitter, all this online attention, it creates a lot of haters too. And these people are dangerous. You got to be careful with people who follow you, who are from your hometown, who don't ever like your posts, okay? Who don't ever like nothing you got going on. They're just stalking what you got going on, being nosy, but have no interest and no desire to celebrate and to encourage you and nothing you're doing. The Bible says that jealousy is as cruel as the grave and guess what guess what it will also put you in one of course it will put you in one look on the screen remember makiva jenkins she and her husband her dust bucket They had had a hard time struggling, trying to make it one while they were temporarily homeless. And she went to school. She got them out of being homeless, not him. She, she, she did. Got them out of being homeless. Uh, he was a barber. And then she started her consulting business. And that obviously went well because then in her consulting business, she started clocking six figures. Oh, yeah, she was on Facebook. So let's fast forward. This is when you call yourself, you're going to build your man or build your boo. This is what can happen to you. She's no longer here. This story was, I believe, na nationwide. Why is she not here? Because of her man. Yes, they have him say that he hired a hit man to kill her. By the way, she was pregnant. Yeah. Palm Beach. Or oh, I believe outside of, a little outside of Palm Beach. He hired a hit man to kill her. Then he had this, oh my God. He had this super ratchet baby mama using the worst language and saying how, uh, uh, making statements about you'll be uh, shutting your mouth forever, you know, permanently. I'm not saying verbatim, but that's what she was saying. Things like that. And um, you'll be wearing a black dress. It was crazy. After the woman had, was, was dead. So what he did, long story short, and they're also this story is also on fatal attraction. Here you show Yuri Jenkins, that's him. Yuri Jenkins, guilty of first degree murder after hiring a hit man to kill his wife. Jenkins sentenced to life in prison for death of McKeever Jenkins in 2017. Uh-huh. So what he did, she was pregnant. He he hired someone to kill her, and they came. She answered the door, I believe, and they came in the home. It was too weird. They shot and killed her, but not him. Normally, they kind of like overpowered a man. She also had, I think, her brother was in the home. And, oh, yeah. And the brother was like, hey, you know, that one guy with two of them, their brother was trying to like whisper a plan to like try to take down the killer. You know, let's try to maybe worse the guy, what have you. And her husband had no interest in doing that. He showed little emotion about her death. Had a side chick. She was making six figures. They had a nice home, middle-class area. He was jealous of her. And by the way, that's where she put him and the kids. 
Black woman, again, got that cape on. You can wear the cape if you want to. These fools will turn around and choke you with that cape. Somebody better learn today. He set up for them to hire and kill his pregnant wife. Oh, and she, of course, been a business owner. She had life insurance. Yeah, about that. He wasn't listed. Oh, he didn't waste any time calling it life insurance. They've showed this on Fatal Attraction. On the first 48. Didn't waste any time about the life insurance until so they realized his name wasn't on. I think it was, was it half a million. He hired somebody to kill his pregnant wife. So, yeah. The part about jealousy, yep. They'll be so jealous that they will actually put you in the grave, and that's unfortunately where she is. She's supporting the whole family. He's the barbershop man. Hired someone to kill her. He was in the house with the killer. Even the brother's testimony. It was just too weird. It's like this. It was so obviously this guy's in on it. And he was convicted and sentenced to life. The one that actually testified against him that actually shot her in the head. I guess, you know, making sure she's dead. He got 15 years. But her husband, her man. Keep on playing build a boo and they just turn around and just keep on murdering you. She's an entrepreneur. What have I told you about the BC? Either they economically boycott their own black business owners, want something for free, rob you or kill you. This is the it's what the community does. If you are a thug, if you are a, bun, a hood rat loud, IOD bunquifa, murderer, assaulter, gangbanger, thief, stab somebody and run, you will be fine in the BC. You'll be protected. You'll be respected. But the business owners, people doing things with their lives, you pretty much have a red dot on your eye you got they got the red dot pointed at you this is what this community does and we don't want to want to pretend she ended up making a six-figure income a consulting business consulting others on how they can become successful a lot of women especially black women i'm talking to you you have no idea y'all gonna keep on sleeping with the enemy Well, there ain't that many educated ones out here trying to do anything. You keep on picking up trash. Keep on just picking up trash. Low performing men. From the educate, I just, I, I, I can't wrap my head around it. Just keep picking up trash. Look on the t-shirt, oneness. Yep, it's always that one, and more than likely a woman like her that's got to carry the whole family. Carry you, the children, and your man. Thinking you're going to show him the way he's going to love and respect for all the work that you do. No, because inside, he's an evil dust bucket. Inside, he's hating you. I keep telling you, some of these men, if they had us to drop of what these women had, they, they would have been gone. But they don't. Can't make it without you. You put him up in a nice home and all that. He's thinking, man, if I can get her out of here, he want to be in with them ho, 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 hoes. Trying to build from dust. Again, find some dust in your home, your office, or your car. Find some dust. One in your hand up on your bookshelf, under a table. Now, you got the dust on your hand. Now, let, let me see you build from that. You can't. 
But yeah, these black women keep on putting these capes on. You're going to show them. You're going gonna to prove a point. You're going to prove a point. These men are there because they need you, the resource. Hired someone to kill her, and he thought, I guess, he was going to get that $500,000 life insurance policy, but she didn't have his name on it. And don't forget, she was pregnant, too. See, women are confusing because he lay beside me, and you have relation. You're confusing that with love. You better wake the hell up. Actions speak louder than words. What does he do outside the bedroom? I always make excuses for them. And we keep having the same story. The same old stories. But yeah, entrepreneur. From hard times when while they were homeless, she pulled them out of that rut. Put them in a nice home, family, business going successful. And now look, look how and look at the, the what the community suffers. We got a whole bunch of hood rats, but women like her, they're gone because of their association with black men. Look how many people maybe she could have helped. She could have mentored to create generational wealth. Well, we can forget about that because her man is taking her life. You can forget about that. The, I take the best and brightest. This is what the community will do. The self hatred. So yeah, the jealousy is very strong. Oh, not I mean yes, not just jealous to the grave. They'll put you in one. Looking at you, smiling at you, laughing, laying beside you, holding you, and just hoping on the inside that you would just leave. They don't want you. They do not want you. They're not going to love you. They they want what you can do, the fruits of your labor. So they can't. You know, they can't do it on their own. They can't, and they're too lazy to even try. They can't do it on their own. Why couldn't he just say, "Hey, you know what? It's not working out for me, but I'm going to go ahead and do a consulting business like her and make some real money." I mean, you got the resource right there, fool. But now he don't want to do all of that. You create him with Angel and her. He wants some quick money. I can be part of that weekend. You know what I'm saying, dog? Still trying to build with dust. Still trying to build with dust. But yeah, you, you know, people are going to do what they want to do. And they look up, they end up on the screen. If someone had told her what her man would do, she probably wouldn't believe, oh, he would never. I have his baby. I support him. They're not capable of love. Black women got to stop looking through life through rose colored glasses on and just realize it's a harsh reality in front of you. Sleeping with the enemy. Trying to build up your man. Why can't they build up themselves? He didn't want her. He wanted the resources. And a woman, oh my gosh, the woman he was picked up with allegedly some girlfriend. Oh, just potty mouth, just trash. Nothing but walking scum, trash. Worst language ever. Talking horribly about a deceased woman. So what he thought I was going to do is go ahead and get with it. See, let me keep picking up the trash off the ground. You're going to try to dust it off, put some clothes on it, and you're going to build you up a man. He's gutter trash. That's why I think he picked that side chick, the one, the way, the, the one that he did pick. The, the worst ever. It should be against the law for her to procreate to be a mother. Just, just horrible. That's what he likes. He's with you, boo, because he needs you. He needs your resources. Can't make it without you. And the sooner these women wake up and realize that, maybe you'll be able to live a full, less dangerous, threatening life. And maybe, just maybe, 
you can avoid an early going night night. These dudes will put your lights out permanently, and I don't mean the electric company. I don't mean FPL, Florida Power and Lights. They will put your lights out permanently. Now the children have to be raised without a mother. He's in jail where he belongs. They'll get the life insurance. And don't think the life insurance, some of them don't get their life insurance and just go spend a while and not on these kids. And so what have they just done? What has he done? Just basically just killed out the possibility of uh, generational wealth. So life insurance policy of $500,000. You think the family going to take those kids in and maybe put money aside for school? Well, no, nah, I got these kids here. Child and Negroes are not financially savvy. They're wanting that money in a heartbeat. Kids might end up just having a, here we go again, on a struggle bus, start from scratch. It's time to wake up. If you want to have a life, it's going to bring its challenges for, for everyone. But you have to wake up. You cannot be blinded by dust. She should have been, I mean, it, it's sad. She just shouldn't have picked this man up, but she did. And you're having his kids thinking you're going to hold him down, determined to have a family. But at what cost? She got with this dust bucket man and had a good future ahead of her. She got with him and she paid the ultimate cost. She lost her life. Children's lives affected. All because of this on the screen. He hired a hitman to kill her. This 2022, ladies and gentlemen, especially black women, it has to be about you. As long as you're holding on to a dust bucket, you're going to go ahead and deal with their jealousy and their rage. And when they get tired of you, it will it may be a dust bucket that puts you in your grave. Sad but true. This was just is one of those stories that just just shock you to your core. Will Paula be alive today? But no, she picked up a dust bucket. Trust if you must in dust. These, you don't know who you're dealing with. Black women really don't know who, who the enemy is. Don't know. Sleeping with it every day. Sleeping with it. Clothing it. Feeding it. Living with it. Supporting it. The, the hatefulness, the jealousy, and the envy is so, it's so real. And they're blinded by love. They're blinded by one because it can't be love. They're blinded by what they think. This this potential. Oh, this pimp line popping. Trying to make something happen. When people show you are believing, keep hanging around. You, you'll find out. So the sooner you wake up, the better. If not, we'll just have more black women on the screen. And I will say this in closing. 2023 is going to be more than likely a lot a lot more challenging financially. These men, depending on you, go ahead and play Barbara the Builder. Go ahead and I'll, I'm all, you know, you're going to build up your boo. That's going to be the very one who will snatch your life from you. The very one. So you can keep, they can keep playing around if they want to. It is what it is. These Dusties are low-performing men. They are jealous. They are angry. And they will think nothing about murdering the, the same women that are carrying them. You can be a mammy. You can be the mama, baby mama, their wife. They will think nothing about ending you. Why? Because that is what angry bird, jealous, self-hating, low-performing dust. Buckets too. Let me know your thoughts. If you to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.